Hello students, I welcome you once again to the e-learning sessions of automobile engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and uh, I am here to share my knowledge with you all about the subject of automotive electricals and electronics. Okay, we have already started a new chapter that is the ignition systems. Okay, I hope you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering. Okay, if you got any query during the lecture, take a note and ask it in comment section. Okay, I will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible. Fine. So now let's start our today's video. So electronic ignition system is a system that does not use breaker point. Instead, there are electronic devices consisting of the transistors and the resistors. Now from there, the name of the electronic ignition system was taken. Okay. But the electronic ignition system also has some types. Okay. Today we will discuss two types of the electronic ignition systems that are actually widely deployed in many vehicles. Okay. First is transistor ignition system and second is distributor lash ignition system. There are many more that we will discuss later. Okay. So let's see first transistor ignition system. So as the name implies transistor ignition system is an ignition system that uses transistors to change the breaker point simple okay using of transistors to change the breaker point now we will repeat a little about the breaker point that the breaker point is the mechanism for disconnecting the primary circuit of the ignition coil that we have already seen in a battery ignition system okay now termination of the primary circuit is intended to trigger the ignition coil of the secondary circuit so it will uh, trigger the induction of the ignition coil okay so the breaker point works like a normal switch which if the plate is stretched the primary circuit will be broken and when the plate is tight the primary circuit is actually reconnected okay so this way it will work now the weakness of the breaker point is the wear of the plate okay it is very important now this is because the plate will always be rubbing against the cam because they are friction okay so that uh, in a certain time it will change the angle and reduce the ignition system performance so what about the transistors okay so let's see what transistors does in this case now the transistors are actually electronic component that is the function like the electronic switch there is no mechanical action or friction okay now we know that the transistors have three legs one is collector, second is emitter, third is base. Okay, you have already learned in school. So the collector is the input of the primary circuit. Emitter is the output of the transistor going to the ground while the base is the transistor controller. Okay, so the transistor is working. If there is current at the base, it will connect the collector and emitter. So in this point, the primary voltage will be continued to going ground. Okay, when they are connected, it will continue to go ground. Now, while if the current at the base is stopped, then the emitter and the collector will be disconnected. Simple. So, you can see that the transistor ignition system diagram also here. So, additional components of the transistors, uh, transistorized uh, ignition systems are pickup coil. This component serves to detect the ignition timing. So, it is very important. Okay, it works by flowing an electric wave where in that wave there is a voltage drop the voltage drop in detects the ignition timing so this is also called electronic ignition timing control okay now what is the advantages of the transistor systems first is do not use breaker points so there is no need to adjust the breaker points mechanical action is gone there is only electronic action okay ignition timing is actually more accurate because you do not need any maintenance Next is have a simpler scheme. So diagram is very simple and uh, wiring is also simple. However, the transistor systems uh, uh, still uses distributors to distribute the high voltage electricity from the secondary coil to the spark plug. Okay, to each spark plug. So it still has mechanical components. Now, therefore, it is also called semi electronic ignition system. Okay, so this was first semi electronic ignition system. Second is distributor less. That means fully electronic ignition system. Now distributorless or contactless ignition systems is an ignition system that does not use distributor. Okay, distributors are required 
to distribute the high voltage from the secondary outputs uh, ignition coil circuit to the spark plugs okay now these components works mechanically so there is a uh, usage limit where when the limit is reached then the connection to the distributor will be weakened so the spark plug fires weakens okay but on the dli system that is distributorless ignition system we did not find a distributor that's because the dli system already has the full electronic computerized ignition systems okay everything works on ecu or you can say computerized system that means in addition to being a fully electronical uh, electronic that dli system has also implemented computer based calculations as a controller of the spark okay now in a simple dli system scheme you can see this diagram here so you can see for yourself there uh, there are many circuits on a dli systems now it has uh, three main parts that is uh, ecu ignition coil module and the ignition coil pack okay now ecu is a microcontroller device that functions to regulate the performance of the ignition coil especially when the ignition coil is active now in doing its job the ecu is assisted by many sensors such as the crankshaft position sensor to detect the ignition timing and camshaft position sensor to detect the ignition timing on a cylinder one okay now the sensor will send a data to the ecu then the ecu processes the data and the results are sent to the output device that is the ignition coil modules okay so ignition coil module actually consists of the several transistors the function is the same as the transistor type ignition system that is an electronic switch okay however this has more numbers now the numbers of the transistor in a ignition coil uh, module matches the number of coil okay so this uh, this is very important now ignition coil pack is a feature of the dli system now coil pack consists of the normal or you can say several uh, mini coils generally there are two coils dual coil pack and the four coils that is single coil pack okay for dual coil packs a coil is used for the two spark plugs okay now this causes two spark plug ignite at the same time while in a single coil pack one coil is used for each spark plug okay so all the spark plug will ignite alternately on its own fine so this was all about the dli system now let's see the advantages of this system first is no maintenance is required as everything is fully electronic second transfer voltage from the coil is more effective because there is no loss third one ignition timing is more accurate because no contact breaker points and no distributor Sec uh, fourth one while the dis uh, what are the dis disadvantages dli systems has quite complicated circuits for the technicians who does not have any knowledge it will be difficult to solve the problems on the dli okay so usually the error can be detected using the scanner or you can say obd so that is more inconvenient and very expensive when any damage occurs inside the systems okay so this was all about the distributorless ignition systems now in many other literatures some of the other electronic systems are also described by the different different names but working principle will always remain same as we have discussed okay so let's see those systems in very brief so first was capacitance discharge ignition system that is cdi system it is mainly consists of 6 or 12 volt battery ignition switch dc to dc converter charging resistance tank capacitor silicon control rectifiers thereafter silicon control rectifier triggering devices thereafter step up transformer and the spark plug okay now a 6 volt battery is connected to dc to dc converter that is power circuit through the ignition switch which is designed to give or increase the voltage to the 250 or 350 volt now this high voltage is used to charge the tank capacitor that is condenser okay to this voltage through the charging resistance now the charging resistance is also so designed that it controls the required current in the scr now depending upon the uh, engine firing order whenever the scr triggering device sends a pulse then the current flowing through the primary winding is stopped 
and the magnetic field begins to collapse simple now this collapsing magnetic field will induce or you can say step up the high voltage current in the secondary winding which will actually jumping the spark uh, spark plug gap produced in the spark plug okay and it will produce the spark and the charge of the air fuel mixture is ignited okay so this was all about the cdi unit next is transistor assisted contact breaker that we have already discussed okay so what are this uh, mean the advantages of that the low breaker uh, current uh, ensures longer life second the smaller gap and the lighter point assembly increases dwell time that means minimize the contact bouncing and improve the repeatability of the secondary voltage okay next is uh, the third is the low primary inductance reduces the primary inductance uh, which reduces the primary current drop off at the high speeds okay now let's see the disadvantages so first is as the conventional system mechanical breaker points are necessary for the timing of the spark second the it the cost of the ignition system is also increased third one the voltage rise time at the spark plug is about the same as before okay so this was about the transistor type ignition system next is piezoelectric ignition system let's see in a brief so the development of the synthetic piezoelectric material producing about the 22 kilo volt by mechanical loading of the some crystal resulted in some ignition systems for the single cylinder engines but due to difficulties of the high mechanical loading need of that order of the 500 kg timely controlled and ability to produce sufficient voltage these systems have not been able to come up okay so this was about the piezoelectric ignition system last is the texaco ignition system what is that now due to the increased emphasis on a exhaust emission control there has been a sudden interest in the exhaust gas recirculation egr systems okay and lean air fuel mixture so fuel is less air is more to reduce the pollution to avoid the problem of burning of the lean mixtures the texaco ignition system has been developed now it provides a spark of controlled duration which means that the spark duration in a crank angle degrees can be made constant at all the engine speeds okay now it is an ac system this system consists of the three basic units a power unit a control unit and a distributor sensor so this system can give stable ignition up to all the air fuel ratios as high as 24 as to 1 so this was for the texaco ignition systems okay so that's it in today's session we discuss about the different ignition systems okay i wish you got clear idea about this therefore if you have any more to know or have any specific query you can let me know i will surely try to respond as soon as possible okay i hope you like this video thank you so much stay tuned goodbye